Have you ever wondered how to stay grounded in your business, especially when things start to get a little bit crazy? Today, I really want to dive in and teach you some fantastic tips and tricks to help you stay grounded and focused no matter what things cross your path. Zach here, where every Tuesdays we help you build that legacy brand. Let's jump right into it. So how do you stay grounded in today's really diverse, ever-growing business environment? Mindfulness practices. Incorporating mindfulness practices such as meditation, deep breathing, and visualization techniques into your daily routine can help you stay present and centered and miss the ups and downs of running a business. I want to help you by going into three practices that I tend to do on the daily, well, I try to do on the daily. With me personally having such an all or nothing mindset that I've tr really tried to shift throughout the years, you really need to start small. Begin by committing just a few minutes of mindfulness practice each day. Choose a specific time and place to practice each day to make it easier to stick with. As you become more comfortable with the practice, gradually increase the time you spend on it. You want to practice regularly. It's okay if you miss a day, miss two days, just trying to get back in that routine. You want to set aside some specific time on your calendar each day for you to practice this mindfulness and make it as part of your routine as you possibly can. Create a dedicated space for your practice, if possible, to help establish a way and make it easier for you to focus. Remember, consistency is key. Even if you don't feel like practicing on a particular day, try to make it a habit to do it regardless. Staying present. I think this is a challenge that all of us have, but staying present is definitely something that I continue to work on. Mindfulness is about being fully present. So try to focus on what's happening right now. When you notice your mind wandering, Gently bring your attention back to your breath or whatever you're focusing on. Don't judge yourself for getting distracted. It's natural. Just acknowledge it and gently redirect your focus back to your present moment. Something that may be a challenge, but you really should focus on, which will really help with the success of not just your business, but your life, which is maintaining that work-life balance. It's essential to carve out time for some personal pursuits and relationships outside of work. This will help you avoid burnout and maintain perspective on what matters to you most. Here are three tips that I utilize to try to maintain my work-life balance as I continue to evolve and grow. Set boundaries. Define work personal time. You want to disconnect from work and or take breaks throughout the day. For me personally, I have a six to seven hour schedule and I have my email time set at the beginning and end of the day. Prioritize self-care, schedule time for exercise, hobbies, and de-stressing. Personally, for me, I set an hour in the morning before my kids wake up to meditate and to write in my journal, working out later in the day between three and five. Lastly, you wanna be realistic and flexible. You want to adjust your priorities, ask for help, and be kind to yourself. Not everything's always going to be in your control, so it's okay to pivot or change your schedule accordingly depending on how stressed you are or how your day turns out. Cultivating a growth mindset. Adopting a growth mindset that emphasizes learning, resilience, and perseverance can help you weather setbacks and stay focused on long-term goals. Angela Duckworth is a well-known psychologist who has written extensively on grit and resilience. You can see the book back on my shelf. Here are some tips for cultivating a growth mindset. Embrace the idea that your abilities can be developed through hard work and perseverance, because that's really what growing is all about. Approach challenges with a positive attitude and a willingness 
to learn from mistakes and get past failures. Cultivate a sense of purpose and meaning in your work or pursuits and use setbacks as opportunities to reevaluate and refocus your goals. Owning a brand and business can get very lonely at times, so you want to build a supportive network. Surrounding yourself with supportive peers, mentors, and advisors who can offer guidance, feedback, encouragement can help you stay grounded and maintain perspective. Here are three sentences on the best way to build a supportive network. One, identify people who share your interests and values and try to connect with them regularly. This is kind of the basics of personal branding. Build relationships, customers, employees, or mentors who have similar values as you. Tell us in the comments how you build your support network. Next, cultivate strong relationships by offering support, advice, and encouragement to others. Be open to new experiences and perspectives and be willing to learn and grow from the people around you. Staying true to your values. This is a hard one, especially as your personal brand starts to evolve into a corporate brand or you start to evolve as a person but you wanna stay grounded to your business in a set of core values that align with your personal beliefs and principles that can help you stay focused on what matters most and make tough decisions with clarity and conviction. This is a summary of the three ways to stay true to yourself and your values based on the book, The Coaching Habit by Michael Stainer. Clarify your values and use them as a guideposts for decision-making and goal-setting. If you are far into business, let's say 500K a year, million a year, three million a year, you may have to go back and do this. You wanna regularly check your actions and decisions to ensure they align with your values. Look for support from people who share your values to help you stay true to these values. Well, there you have it. There are some good starting points that you can start utilizing in your daily habit to help you stay grounded in your business. Make sure to tackle that subscribe button, give us a like, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. Again, Zach here, where we help you build that legacy brand beyond the game.